Hello people of YouTube, Pixie here and today on my channel it is a tea talk and I got my English breakfast tea back there and yeah let's just go ahead and get started. So in today's video I kind of wanted to talk about what you should do after you've applied to go to a university or college um, and because I know I've been there and yeah I just wanted to share some tips with you. So basically the first tip is to close your computer and just kind of like put all of the thoughts that you've like put into applying away for just like a second. Give yourself a break. You've completed something that is very stressful and therefore deserving of a an probably overdue break and I know how stressful the process can be so make sure you like allow yourself some time to just kind of like decompress and chill um, because I know it's just so stressful that you just gotta close the computer and put it away um, and also with that same thing do not go back and reread what you've submitted like don't do it you know the deadlines it's it, it already passed you submitted it and you can't go back and like rechange something I mean like there are things you can change but or update later but that's not the same thing you know what I mean so just kind of like accept that and just like walk away just kind of wipe your hands clean and just like accept that you've submitted it and that's what you've submitted and you should be really proud of yourself and just kind of like take a second to like chill because it's gonna be all right I promise um but after you've kind of like decompressed and chilled the second tip I have for you is to um make sure to not forget about your classes that you're currently in finish the semester as strong as you possibly can because of course you know these grades count the grades um next semester count as well for your gpa and some schools require you to maintain a certain gpa so you don't want to have any kind of issues of like once you got into your uh, dream school like on a conditional acceptance and then like you m somehow make a mistake and like don't get the gpa that is required for you next semester there are like rules and stuff look into that um well, when you get your acceptance letters, uh, but yeah, make sure like to not just like slack off because you've applied and you've worked, you've worked so hard to, you know, build up your application. Don't like let, don't slip now, like today, today and to now is not the time to like, you know, slip up. Um, so remember that and make sure you keep going to class, make sure you keep working really hard and finishing the semester really strong and next semester as well. Um, moving along, another tip I have for you is, because during when I was applying, I was just like, you know, as you probably are maybe too, like super obsessed with like the results and waiting and trying to guess if I was going to get into these schools or whatever. And something that really like calmed my nerves was going on to like the college confidential forums and like seeing how many other people were applying like all over the place. It like really, I don't know, reduced a lot of my fears and made me feel a lot better because I knew I wasn't by myself in applying. And so I really recommend like checking out those pages and check out the previous pages to like previous years because it kind of gives you insight into what students with which GPAs from which majors at what schools got into whatever, um, so or got rejected or waitlisted. So it kind of gives you like more of an idea, not exactly, but like... It's better than just like nothing. I don't know. I really liked it and it really made me feel a lot better about everything. Um, yeah. Okay, so the last tip that I have for you is to make sure to keep an eye on your emails and any other deadlines you may have regarding the application process. I know for me personally, when I applied to UC Berkeley, I had to then um, submit a, an updated like version of my grades in January so if you have to do that make sure to pay attention and don't forget to do that if you have to do that for any other schools as well and also with that if you're confused about anything or you're unsure about something make sure to call the school that you are applying to and you want to know the answer to they have an admissions number so it's totally good and okay to call them you might be on hold for a while but promise that it is worth it when you get the answer that you'll need to find out and trust me it just eliminates so much stress so yeah that is everything those are all the tips i have for you and i'm so proud of you for applying or if you're thinking about applying i'm really proud of all you guys and yeah i will see you all in my next video